it's Levon. Welcome back to my channel and to part two of the mid-century modern furniture design with collaboration with Edith Noble. So I contacted Edith and I asked her, you might want to check our part one episode, I asked her if I could use her dresser or her um, coloring book design to redo this mid-century modern dresser and she said yes. So I took the design and I put it in PixArt and that's in my last video. And then once I got the design piece together, I used chalk on the back to transfer the design to the dresser. I will tell you going forward to do this again, don't use pink chalk on a light surface. It was too light and I really had a hard time seeing it. So lesson learned, I will use a darker chalk or you can use um, pencil and that helps too. So then I just took and traced over every single one of those lines. I had used one coat of, um, I can't think of the name of the color, sand. Uh, <laughs> it'll come to me. But anyway, um, I tra transferred this design to the piece. And again, there were things that came out too light, so it really took me a while to get everything uh, transferred over. And then I was a little loosey-goosey with the sides because I had to kind of fill it in by, by memory, which was pretty easy. And some lines I messed up, so I had to redo those. Again, kind of being creative. Sandbar. That's the name of that color. Yay! <laughs> so I, you're going to have to stay till the end to see Edith's reaction because that's going to be at the end of the video. Now I will tell you I only got one dresser done. And you can see why. I worked on it really throughout the week but it's a lot of detail. So um, you can leave in the comments what your suggestions are for the second piece. It's a more uh, flat, long dresser, same style. I'm thinking of just taking the tree tops and doing that. Or once you see the finished product, you might say that's too much. You might just pick out one color and do the drawers uh, to have it coordinate. Um, so just let me know in the comments what you think. And of course I end up doing what I think's best in the end, but <laughs> so then uh, the color starts coming in and I used a color palette and also an inspiration picture to choose my colors and I tried to stay in this mid-century modern color palette. This is a uh, barn red from Dixie Bell and um, next I used some Florida orange but I was using artist brushes on all these areas. So you can see it was very um, time consuming. So then I came back in again with the oil based marker. That was what I was using on the sandbar uh, for the black lines is oil based Sharpie marker. Okay, and then this color is called Colonel Mustard. I started with the sun, just because it was the only thing that was one. <laughs> there was a quantity of one. And I just thought that would give me my jumping off point. This was so much fun to do. So then I came in with Mermaid Tail and did the sky. And I just decided I was going to do the entire sky in the same color. I could have done a little more shading, but I kind of really thought that this color was a real mid-century modern color. And I just thought having a good bit of it would be kind of grounding. Mm -hmm. 
that's the palette that I chose. Um, I actually worked from two of them. I was surprised to find like lilac because I wanted to do Purple Mountains Majesty kind of. That was what was in my mind. So that's why I used um, the lilac on the, the treetops. Or the mountaintops rather. So again, this wasn't exactly what was in my mind color wise, but I worked from these color palettes because I wanted to make sure it was authentic mid-century modern colors because of the style of the dressers. I tried to vary the, the stripes, the amount of stripes. Uh, last time I used chocolate Dixie Belle paint and a water mister to give this stain a deeper color. I still felt it needed something more, so I took Voodoo Gel Stain, which is a water-based stain, and just squirted it on. It comes in a bottle. Just squirted it on, sprayed it, and used a brush and just blended it in. And I felt like it really deepened the stain color. And you can still see some of that uh, original blonde finish come through, which I think is kind of cool, which I wanted. So um, but this definitely darkened it more uh, to what I was thinking. So I used the water mister. And you can see how that just really kind of gives it the look of the wood grain. So happy I did this extra step. Now as for the hardware, you know, I debated, it's almost like um, you see the hardware on vintage cars. Um, it's kind of got a little pitted, but it still looked really good. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to keep it as is. So I went back in with the Sharpie and redid some of the lines that got a little painted over to try to make the design still look crisp. On the mountains, I debated using a gray, but I decided to use, um, to just leave the sandbar color. And I'm glad I made that choice. Once we get to the end, you'll see um, the last decision that I made, which is this one, using the brown wax and my new Hujo stencil brush, which I use for waxing. Um, from Redesign with Prima, but you can see what a difference that makes. Maybe you can't see it so much in the video, but close up you really can. Not only does it improve the texture and make it look so nice and smooth, but it just gives it a little bit of a vintage look. Um, I did the same over the stain as well, um, but it just, you can see as I progress here, when I get down to some of the other drawers, and on the mountains especially, you can see the difference that it makes. Naturally, things that have been around since then have darkened a little bit. Um, it's natural when the light hits it that that happens. So I think this kind of gives it that look. worry when I do a piece how it will be received so I'll find that out today <laughs> I think you know I think it's becoming clear to me but again I'd love to have your opinions in the comments um, I think I'm just gonna take that mermaid tail color and do the drawers on the other ones so I just can't so you can see the difference between the light and the dark with the wax I just, you know, can't imagine somebody wanting two of those in the same room, so. So cool. I didn't know exactly how you were going to do that, but that was... I love the colors, too. Uh, you know what? I just got this century modern colors. I was surprised. I wanted a purple mountain snap, and I was really happy to find So I no, you can't tell. <laughs> it looks 
To see your art on furniture. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. Say? So that's a wrap, and I couldn't have asked for a better reaction. I now have Edith's um, coloring books for sale in the store, and we staged it, had some good photos taken of it, and I'm very pleased with the way this turned out, even though it was different from my original vision. I hope you'll subscribe, come back to the channel, we do something different all the time, and uh, visit us please at LaVintageDecor.company on Facebook, we're La Vintage Decor Altoona on Instagram, La Vintage Decor. Have a great day and stay well.